Hey, how y'all doing out there? This is Easy Work Box. I'm about to hit you everywhere, but under your feet with this one. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. You know what time it is. I got to talk about Keith Thurman now. You know, my boy. You know, he's still my, I'm still a number one fan of Keith Thurman. And I got to talk about your Dennis Yugis. Now, I ain't saying I'm no matchmaker or nothing. I ain't saying nothing like that. All right? That's all I'm saying is I came on probably like a, probably about a month ago. And I suggested that Keith Thurman should fight uh, Jordanis Jukas for his WBA title, his regular WBA title. Now, I also have a Twitter account. Y'all go on Twitter. Easy Work Boxing is on Twitter now. I sent this to Jordanis Jukas. Now, I'm not saying I made no match. If you check Twitter, if you go to, if you go ask Jordanis Jukas yourself, you got a Twitter account. The Easy Work Boxing sent you that Keith Thurman and Jukas should fight. Now, I'm not saying I'm the one who, the reason this happened. I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying it's a real coincidence that I texted him or sent him the message. I'm new to Twitter. Sent him the message to Twitter, and now they talking about them fighting. Your Dennis Yugas and Keith Thurman both agreeing to the fight. Yugas said the fight could be made over this weekend, which is the past weekend that just passed. <clears throat> now, I want to see this fight. This is a this is a great fight. Like I say to y'all all the time, Yo, Dennis Hughes is a strong, big welterweight who's been ducked by a lot of uh, welterweights out there. I told y'all, Yo, Dennis Hughes beat Terrence Crawford in the amateurs, which I didn't know. I didn't know that at all until I, you know, went to seeing a little bit more about Yo, Dennis Hughes, you know, and his come up in the game. Now, I'm a Keith Thurman fan. Keith Thurman thought, lost the fake WBA uh, super belt. So, I guess now he got a small decision to make. He going to go and try to go for the regular WBA title, which is the real WBA title. So he'd be in the line to have a title if he want to go out to Crawford or he want to go out to Spence, which is smart by uh, Keith Thurman to do that. But I'm just saying it's just real coincidence that after I text him this and all of a sudden now, them two are going to fight for his regular WBA title. And um, I think it's going to be a hell of a fight. Keith Thurman, you know, he he ain't fought in a year, man. You know, he got a lot of rust on him. I would love to come out and say Keith Thurman would beat Yardinus Yugas. But Yardinus Yugas is a is a different type of fighter. The only thing I only thing that bothers with, with me with Yardinus Yugas is the fact that he's very impatient to me. You know, sometimes he could be real impatient and he can go in trying to attack the opponent when he don't have to. Sometimes he could just stay outside and really outbox an opponent. You know, Keith Thurman... Like I said, rust on him all for a year. He should at least get a step up fight before even trying to step in the ring with Jordanus Yugas. But maybe he just such in a rush and believes in himself so much, which is good that he can go out there and he feel he could take Yugas belt. But I don't think there's gonna be no easy fight coming off no year layoff trying to go in with somebody who's sharp. Yugas sharp. Yugas done fought uh, Omar Figueroa or uh what's the guy I can't remember his name. It was a Mexican fighter. He just fought, uh, I think it was Abel, something like that. Yeah, Abel. Dude almost dropped him, though, um, in that last fight to win that title, though. Riviera. Rivera. I think that's his name. Rivera. He almost dropped Yugas in that last fight to get that title. You know, so uh, that showed me Yugas can be hurt, even though he is a big welterweight. The right punch on the chin can hurt him. One puncher who I know can get a chance to try to probably knock him out is Keith Thurman. But we know Keith Thurman ain't been KO's for life in a long time. <laughs> you know, we've been missing them KO's. We've been, them KO's like Waldo or something. We ain't been seeing them. But uh, I just think this will be a magnificent fight. This will be a fight to see. Uh, it should be on regular TV, I hope, or on an undercard of a big card. Whatever coming up. Probably it could be on Wilder Fury. You know, what now they saying they December 5th and they might not even fight, so... It should be up under a big card, I think, you know, a big card. Or they, or they could be the top of their own card, you know what I'm saying, and have some undercards on them. Keith Thurman got a big name where well, he used to have a big name before he decided to get, you know, play with flutes and, <laughs> you know, riding helicopters and planes and stuff. But that's, that's going to be a fight for us to see. And uh, both of these guys, this is a 50-50 fight. Uh, I would lean a little bit more towards Yugas, though, because he's sharper. And you know he got something to prove, and Keith Thurman got something to prove. But I'm a, I'm a, I can't go against my dog Keith Thurman. But I'm gonna just say this: Keith Thurman been off a year. Yuga's been coming back and forth with fights, back to back, and winning. You know he ain't 
he beat Sean Porter, in my opinion. But on paper, he lost to Sean Porter. So, you know, I think this is going to be a hell of a fight. Somebody getting dropped. That's the way I see it. Somebody getting dropped. I, I don't really think this is going to be a tactical fight. Keith Thurman could be aggressive, but he, stand, he tends to come offensive two rounds, back off two rounds, come back in three, four rounds, back off a round. You know, Keith Thurman's smart, you know. But um, he wasn't smart enough, you know. He wasn't that smart against Manny Pacquiao, I got to say that. But this is going to be a hell of a fight because both of them draw in. You know, Keith Thurman will attack. You was definitely going to attack. So somebody somebody getting knocked out. I know that for a fact. But I just had to get on here and say that, you know, uh, once again, Cash Up, PayPal is connected to the channel. Nickel, dime, quarter, penny, it don't matter. You know, whatever you want to give. Uh, thank y'all for tuning in. Most of all, y'all be safe out here. You know, uh, thank y'all. I love y'all for y'all support. I'm not going to stop doing what I do. I just got to go back to the drawing board like I did. You know, this is my early easy work box. I'm just off the phone, you know, so. We got 90 days, baby. We in jail. For, I mean, YouTube jail for 90 days. So, you know, y'all hold it down and stay close to me. I'm going to keep making these videos. But y'all go on Twitter. Y'all check that out. Y'all clearly see. And you can send me uh, uh, like a love back, to be exact. You know what I'm saying? I wish I could show it to y'all. I ain't got it on here. But um, I could probably post. Well, I am. I got it. Yeah, I could probably post it and put it on my side. But yeah. Thank y'all for y'all's support, man. Y'all stay tuned. This is Easy Work Boss, and we're going to keep them coming. I'm out.